Hey everyone, Retube Gail here. I'm here to record this video. I want to show you how you can connect Google Chrome through the Tor network on Mac OS. Uh, you can also do it on Windows, which are in these instructions. So this is our dark web evidence capture guide. And here you're going to see there's the various steps that you can take to set up. So a lot of you have asked about what about the dark web? Does Forensic OSINT allow us to use it on the dark web to save online content? And the answer is yes. So here we have the steps. And the first step is going to be you want to download the Tor browser. So I've already done that. Once you've done that, you want to leave it running so the local proxy is available. So first things first, I'm going to click on Tor browser. You can see it's connected and I'm leaving it running in the back there. And then I'm going to scroll down. And if you have Windows, um, here are the instructions to follow the steps to follow. Uh, I'm going to scroll down because I have Mac OS. So in this case, I'm going to copy this over. What you need to do is open up the terminal. So I'm going to click on the terminal and I'm going to paste the code there and click enter. And what's going to happen here is your Chrome opens up and I have one set up here. So next you're going to want to verify that you are connected to Tor and how you do that is you go to check.torproject.org and you're going to see if it's not connected, it'll let you know. But in this case, it says, congratulations, this browser is configured to use Tor. So now the next step is you can go ahead and download Forensic OSINT, the extension. Um, you're able to use it to save online content. Uh, that's it for now. This is the video I wanted to record and you're using Chrome over Tor. Um, this is Mac OS setup, but there's also a Windows guide as well that we've provided those steps for you. Um, so now you can use Forensic OSINT on the dark web. Thanks so much for watching.